What's going on everybody, this is Tatro, and I wanna show you a really easy way to create simple hi-hat patterns, rolls, and stutters. Now I'm someone who likes to play in my musical ideas on a pad or on a keyboard, and I'm okay at finger drumming, but I'm not doing any crazy 30 second note fills just on the pads with my fingers. And I usually avoid clicking in notes in the piano roll. In some of my videos you might have seen, the way I actually create these hi-hat patterns is by holding down single pads, which plays repeated notes at different rates. And this is really easy to set up in Ableton Live's drum rack, and I'm gonna show you how right now. All right, so I have a drum kit set up here with some kicks and some snares but no hi-hats. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag in one hi-hat sample. I'm gonna pick from the Boy Wanda kit that I got from Splice. I really like these hi-hats. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into MIDI effects and put an arpeggiator directly on that pad. And it defaults to eighth notes and we're at 80 BPM. Now for this style of hi-hat, my minimum rate is gonna be 16th notes. You can already see the effect is there. I'm holding down the pad and it's playing those 16th notes. But if we copy this sample over by holding Alt and dragging it onto the two empty spaces, now I have three identical hi-hats, each playing at 16th note rate, but I can change that. So I will change the second one to be 32nd notes. You can hear already we're getting that kind of cool roll effect. For the third one, I'm gonna set it to 148th. So it's really more of like a little glitch but it kind of sounds bland when they're all the same pitch. So what I'm gonna do is alter the pitch, especially of this last one that's more glitchy, slightly down using this transpose knob here. And that sounds pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the second one too, but not as far down. I really like how you can just hold down one pad and still put in the little stutters without having to actually lift your fingers. So it makes it really easy to play. That's how I make really easy hi-hat rolls using drum rack and the arpeggiator in Ableton Live. So it really is as easy as throwing an arpeggiator on a sample in a drum rack. You could do this with snare rolls or basically any sample in your rack. Just get creative. I was messing with the pitch. You could do the same. And let me know if you're gonna be using this technique down in a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe for more live electronic music performances, tutorials, and content to make you a more productive producer. This has been Tatro. Have a good one.